Hey guys, Proper English here. As you know, I've been playing around with these comparators quite a bit, and I noticed something that's pretty strange. You'd expect that both of these lines would have the same delay, but in fact they don't. So let's come over here and flip this lever, and we can see that the one on the right is faster than the one on the left. This isn't directional. I've set up a couple of circuits. You can see it's the same in all orientations. And so let's take a look at some other situations and see what's going on because this is kind of funky. After I noticed this, the first question that I had was whether or not it was a specific block that was causing this issue. And so I set up these four lines. One has a block before the comparator and after the comparator. One just has it before, one just after, and one has no blocks. And so let's see what happens when I flip this lever. And as you can see, there were four different timings. This one was first, this one was second, the one with two blocks was third, and the one with the block behind it was the slowest. All right, so that's four different timings, kind of strange. And so the next thing I want to know was what are these timings? And this is where things start to get interesting. I've set this up so that the top row should have the longest delay, and that delay should decrease down to the bottom row, which should have the shortest delay. Let's see what we can get out of this, and if what we see here matches up with what we saw in our previous test. All right, so this is one of the results that I was looking for. Right now, it looks like the one on top, the first row with the block before the comparator, has the same delay as the comparator with no blocks. The one on the bottom looks fastest and the one with two blocks looks the slowest. That's not what we saw before. Let's see if there are any other possibilities, if anything else happens that matches up better with what we saw in our previous test. This is the other situation that I've been getting. Right now, it looks like the one on top with the block before the comparator is slowest. The one with two blocks looks to be the same speed as the one with the block in front of the comparator, and the one with no blocks looks like it's fastest. So neither of these possibilities match up with what we saw in our experiment before. Let's try a different setup and see if things look different. All right, so now I'm using four comparators in each line. Let's see what the result is. And this is something that looks a bit more like what we're expecting. It's not exactly what we saw in the first test we did with these four lines, but it's close. The top row, the one with the block before the comparator, is slowest. It's got the longest delay. Then the one with two blocks has slightly shorter delay. Then there's a big change when we go to the one with no blocks or the one with the block in front of the comparator. Doesn't match up exactly with what we saw because the one with the block in front of the comparator looked like it was fastest, but this is close. Regardless, this is kind of strange and it's kind of frustrating because the way I found this is I realized that some of my circuits were not as fast as I thought they should be. And when I started playing around with the different factors that could influence this, this is what I stumbled across. And yeah, this one, this one's not so much fun because we really want these comparators to have the same delay. This may be related to what I showed you in the previous video that I did on the timing issues with comparators, but I honestly do not know enough about how the game figures all these things out to give you any insight into that. So maybe you guys know. Maybe you guys have a better idea than I do. Let me know in the comments if you do. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.